Sunday. Sunday morning, the 13th. And I'm struggling this morning. <clears throat> Ain't too much to eat. It's either I don't have enough to eat or I stuff myself. And it's like an anchor on me. I had three skillet breakfast uh, wrap, um, I don't know what you call pockets, pocket sandwiches. Big cup of coffee, double cup of coffee. And it's weighing my stomach down. I think, I think it was too much. I was anticipating a big day today, so I figured, oh, I better get some, I better get a good meal into me. Well, I gotta weigh some of it off. Alright, I'm now about ready to ford this big river. Um, I was in, I found that stealth site last night, and good thing I did, because, oh, 100 yards down the trail, I saw this morning the big sign, no camping till the river. So, and there was some gnarly roots and rocks and I was kind of tired, so that would have been a real dangerous last hour or two. Because I just, you know, at the end of the day you're tired, you just don't have your re reflexes are a little slower. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, and we had rain last night. Oh, yeah. Light. Just light. I, I heard it. Heard it hitting the roof of the tent. It's, you know, it does that. At sunset, there is no clouds. So you think, I oh, yeah, no problem. Leave stuff out. Well, I'm learning. I'm learning to the tricks. I put everything away last night because I said, you know, Mother Nature plays this trick. And she did, but I outwitted her last night. I had everything put away. And it rained. Oh, yeah. So, um, we're going to be fording. I can hear the river. And the rain last night was just enough to wet the ground, not nothing to raise the river level, so I'm not worried about that. I can hear the river. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, I get really close to it. Still going down. I know, sorry. I keep pulling my arm in and you're looking at my chin. Alright, let me turn to the scene we've been looking at this mug this early in the morning. Um come on, what's wrong with the poles? They're not cooperating this morning. Nothing is there we go. Um trying to hold two poles in one hand. Can't phone in the other hand. Camera, I mean rather in the other hand. But yeah. So this is a one of the better sections in a day and a half that I've been on. This isn't too bad. Make up a little time, but I wait, I got a couple of Real big mountains to climb here in a little while. As soon as I pass this river, I gotta go up some real big ones. So today's either 14, which is looking like that's what it's gonna be, or it's a 17. And then a 14 or 15 tomorrow and I'm done. If I do the 14, and then it's a 16 or 17 tomorrow and I'm done. Or it's a 13, and the following morning I have three miles to get out because there's a shelter about three miles from where I'm getting picked up. So I guess it all depends on what happens today. But I don't, unless the whole thing is like this, I don't think I'm doing 17 miles today. But you never know. Get a couple of them Reese's peanut butter cups in me. I might be able to kick it into second and third gear here. We shall see. But I'm in no rush. I'm just enjoying it. Birds are chirping in the background. So 
Uh, I'll just keep going. Enjoy the scenery. That's why I'm out here. The tranquility, peacefulness. I'm gonna be in the rat hole. Oh, supposed to be no camping, but I see campsites over there. Ooh. I can see other people like me. They don't follow the rules. <laughs> This must be the, this is a protected area, the pine forest, I read about this. It is pretty nice. It is nice. Huge, huge pine trees. Look at them. So this is a, some kind of national designation. That's why protected and there's no camping so all you can do is walk through it and look at it that's it all right when I get to this river I'll give you a picture of it but I'm not going to film it going across because I want to make sure I have all four points connected oh here we go what's this what is this? We have to sign in. I'm not signing in. I'm just going. All right, oh, we got more signs up here. This must be it. All right, when I get to the river, I'll take a picture and I'll put it away. I want all four points of contact on the bottom of this river so I don't trip. Although I was told it was ankle deep, so I don't think it's gonna be that dangerous. All right, well, I'll have you hang in here one second until I get to the sign. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, big intersection here. What have we got going on here? It's West Branch Pleasant River Parking Area. No. Appalachian Trail West Branch Pleasant River. Point two chair back. Well, this is where we're going. We're going down here. So in two tenths of a mile, you'll see the river. I'm gonna shut you off though, cause say power. Okay, I think we are here. I'm gonna get wet. No rock hopping here, I can see this. Okay, all right, here we go. What do we have? Gulf Hages Trail, no camping, no fires, please stay on my trails. All right, and here's my bench to sit to take off my shoes. All right, here we go. Okay, doesn't look life threatening, just wet. All right, a nice stealth site there. A couple I passed already, I, I crossed the river. As I was putting my boots back on, they have a uh, ridge runner that sits there at the river every day because that's a very popular day hiker destination. Or you get on this trail about seven tenths of a mile on the other side of the river where I, was, where I came from, huge waterfalls and. Uh, I didn't want to walk all the way down there, take a picture and come all the way back up out of the gorge. I've seen quite a few waterfalls. <laughs> so, uh, they have to warn people about the dangers and uh, the best way to get down there and back up safely. And she says normally on the weekend, they'll have 200 people a day per day. And while I was there, what, 15 minutes, um, had six people show up, different, you know, different groups heading there already. And it's only like 8.30, uh, quarter of nine. So, uh, huh, that was interesting. She told me about all the rock work that's going to be done on the trail. And she warned me. <laughs> about what's ahead of me. 
Oh, it sounds good all the way. Oh, one thing she warned me there was no water at this one section, which I'm glad she did. She goes, This is your last one at water for most of the day. I said, Oh, so I only had two and a half liters. So I filled it while I was there at the river. I filled it and I'm carrying four liters of water. Because if I have to be climbing the mountains, I want water. I don't want to get dehydrated. They didn't even have a sign. I told they should have a sign there warning the hikers. So I'm glad she was there to warn me. I would have ran out of water big time early. So that was uh that was a good good uh good timing. So when I uh get to something interesting I will uh, get back to you. I'm exactly 30 miles from uh, Munson, so at this point. So if I can do two 15s, I'll be out tomorrow night. We'll see. Like I said earlier, just gonna enjoy it and uh, see what happens. All right, let me put this away. Later, folks. Have uh, have a good day. Oh my word! I just witnessed death. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm on chair back, one of the four thousand footers, and I got hit with. Well, I didn't physically get hit, but I got hit with lightning on the mountain a couple of times. There's nowhere to go. When that, that thing, this thing came up so quick, within 30 minutes it was here. It was sunny, and then it was here. There it is right there. And I think I think there's another one coming, but I made it over the mountain. Let me see which way the clouds are going. I'm right on the edge of another one, so I, I'm working my way back down. That was the hairiest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And it was a north binder. I just passed him. I just got off the peak and he was just coming up. He got caught in it too, except on the other side of the mountain. Oh man, nothing you can do, folks. When you when they when it, when these freaking things pop up, it's just hit or miss. You know, it's it's a crapshoot. All right, I gotta go. Look at the clouds right there. They're rolling back in. I gotta get down. I want to get off this freaking thing. Nice views when I had it. I went to pull my phone out, and then I turned around and looked behind me, and here comes another storm. So I, I didn't get any pictures, but there's, there's the lake. There's the lake down there that I'm trying to get to. That's going to be tonight's destination if ever if I can get there alive. All right, I'm I'm out of here. Bye. Well. I survived the thunderstorms and I finally got up the chair back shelter after the storms left figures. Now we're, it's definitely a cold front that went through because the winds are out of the northwest and uh, temperatures, it's really, it's dry, the humidity's gone. It's kind of coldish, not even cool, it's cold. So maybe because I'm wet. Nice views here, see? Between the trees, I don't, I don't know where I'm looking, but uh, I guess I'm looking to the north. Yeah, because right now I'm heading southeast. Oh, maybe I'm looking to the northwest. Yeah, those are the mountains over there. Real and beautiful. There's nothing out here too. I don't see any houses, no roads. Actually, there's a logging road. There's a logging road right, let's see, right over here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a logging road in there. Um, but other than that, I don't see anything in this, in this area. All right, I'm just going another two miles to the lake and I'm calling it quits. It's 1.30, I'm soaking wet. I have nothing dry. My second pair of clothes hasn't even dried from three days ago. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down there. There's room for six tents. That's what the logbook said, or the uh, app said. 
and I'm going to string up a clothesline, seeing the air is dry, and maybe I can get some dry clothes going here. Okay, talk to you later. There's the lake I'm heading for right there. So we gotta get down the mountain this way, work around, and then we're gonna come back. To, the uh, trail brings us right to this side of the lake, and then there's a trail that goes down to the lake. It's about a quarter mile, well, it can't be that long. A uh, Couple hundred feet, 300 feet. Well, here I am, made it to camp. Uh, I'm over here on this lake. I took the, uh, I don't know what it was, 600 feet um, off the AT. It doesn't say specifically a campsite, it just says a fishing camp with room for maybe a half a dozen tents, but nothing's really flat. You can see I squeezed in between this tree here. <laughs> so, um, and there's the lake. Uh, I got a nice view of the lake. I'm, I'm not that far from it, probably uh, 30 feet from the water. So, nice spot. I'm the only one here. Nobody else is here. I had to I got all my laundry hanging from the rain today. All my clothes, everything. Everything is uh, hanging. All right, let me turn this around and uh, show you show you around here. Okay, well here's my setup. Well, you've seen that before. And my cooking area. And then this place already came with a clothesline, so I'm drying my poncho and my clothes that I wore today. They got drenched because it wasn't quick enough. There's my setup again right there in the camp. Food bag hung, New England style because the trees don't, they just don't have good branches to do the PCT style, so we have to do the New England style. All right. Beautiful mountain lake. They have boats here if you want to use boats. You just have to bring them back. But I don't know where you're going with it because I'm not lugging them out of the woods, that's for sure. Beautiful lake here, nice little fishing lake. Um, I'm wondering because this is so remote, I'm going to see any moose a little bit. I'm going to come around at dusk, see if there's anything down here. I got my clothes, my other clothes that have been washed and have been wet for three days in my pack. I got all this stuff hanging, drying. Oh, nice, just about done. Um, and I have uh, my shoes drying. They got soaked today. Oh, these Mopad, these Moab 2s, garbage. They're already falling apart. I mean, you have 300 miles on these shoes. Wait till I show you this. Falling apart. Oh, yeah. Right over here. I already got a hole. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe this way you can see it. Yeah, see? Already delaminating. Tread is good. Just the body is no good. So, REI, I'm coming back. I'm going back to Keens. I like my Keens. I know they're a little heavier. But those shoes, they, they lasted. These Moabs, are, they're, they're garbage. They're going back, so um, what a peaceful place. Okay. Cook dinner, it's about five o'clock now. And some time to relax. And like I said, I did 
put out all my clothes to dry. We have two days of beautiful weather. I won't be finishing tomorrow. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna go to the next shelter tomorrow. I don't know what it is. I forgot what it is. Actually, I might have to go a little beyond that. Um, I think I'm at 25 miles now. 24 miles from uh, um, the end of the 100 mile wilderness. So I might break it down. Uh, we'll see how far I get tomorrow. My, I'll definitely have to stealth camp somewhere tomorrow. And then I'll just have maybe a 10 mile hike out tomorrow, uh, on the next day, which will be Tuesday. Which is fine, especially if the weather's going to be like this. I don't really want to leave. It's beautiful. Look at the sky. All that shit cleared out of here. Unfortunately, on top of me. <laughs> That was an experience. I've heard people talking about it. Now I had to live it, which I think I could do without. That was so freaking scary. Oh, man. Good thing I don't have aluminum. My trekking poles, nothing on me is aluminum. My frame on my backpack is carbon fiber. And my trekking poles are carbon fiber. I am so glad I didn't have aluminum. <laughs> It would have been like a lightning rod on top of that mountain. <sighs> okay. Little fire pit. No fire for this guy. I'm not too tired to lug, look for firewood. I'm just going to have dinner. Bring it down here to the water. I think I'm going to set my chair up right, right on the rocks there and have my dinner. Nope. So far, knock on wood. No, uh, no bugs here. Nothing. No flies, no mosquitoes, nothing. So, oh, I see a couple flying over here. What are these things flying around? I don't know if you can see them. All right, I'm gonna put this away. Tomorrow, Monday, we tackle it again. This is the view from my tent. Stream lean to? Yeah. Um, um, Isn't that like seven from here? Uh, oh boy. Good, good. Yeah. There's quite a bit of camping between here and there. Yeah, but I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get halfway between Munson and there. Because okay. I'll be able to do I'm trying to do maybe twelve or fifteen tomorrow. Yeah, there's quite a few. Stuff. Okay. Because um, I'm not going to be able. I think I'm twenty from months, and I I can't quite do twenty. Yeah. Because this is yeah. pretty rugged. I mean, there's like it three was, peaks I have to go yeah, over. Yeah, it's pretty rugged up ahead. Yeah. A little bit. Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, around almost all the larger streams, there's still sites. Yeah, okay. there's a ton down by those streams. Okay. All, all right. around there. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, when you go this way, it's freaking. I got caught in a thunderstorm right on top of. Um, this other mountain over there where they could cheer back mm -hmm. right freaking on top of it yeah. and two lightning bolts hit the freaking mountain really? mm -hmm. you shit me I didn't know where to, well, I don't know what to, I didn't know what first time that's ever happened those clouds yeah. just sit on top of those mountains <laughs> I, yeah yeah it, oh man that's why I bailed out here I was cold I started with an inner chill because I didn't yeah. have it came so quick, yeah. you know, because it came from behind me, and I don't usually look around behind me. You know, all of a sudden I heard thunder, and I'm going, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So otherwise I wouldn't have stopped here either, but I had to, I had to pull out about 3.30, I think it was, I pulled in here, mm -hmm. just to dry everything yeah. off. I had yeah. a clothesline over here. The wind dried everything from me. Yeah, the rest of the day. Then. Did you have any rain today down south? I had some rain right on top of. Um... No, I mean today. Did, did the storm? A little I... bit. Yeah. We, hit, we had it rained for like five or ten minutes on us, maybe. And there, then... were, there was a line that looked like it. I was right at the southern end of the line, and the line went up towards Katahdin. and it was on an angle, and it was coming across the state. Almost went all north of me, yeah. but I, the end of it got me. Yeah. There's a campsite yeah. for like four tents up there. Seriously? It's yeah. awesome. Nice. Okay. Are there other um, boats? Right over here. There's a whole bunch there. of them. Yeah. That are all available. 
one, I think this one that's ch that green one's chained, but the others are not. There's a nice stealth, there's a two nice stealth sites about 30 minutes from here going north. Real nice. But you're like 10, 15 feet off the trail if you don't mind that. But there should be nobody coming by now. It's too late in the day. Cool. Awesome. Uh, you guys, you guys heading forward? Yeah, keep pushing on. Keep pushing on. Yeah, start making moves. How far? Enjoy the island. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Watch for moose. You know? yeah, 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 we, we will. will. And there's a, there's a, like a griddle. Yeah. We try to <laughs> catch a fish. Oh, really? Got something to cook it on. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's going to be a good time. All right, have fun, guys. Yeah, yeah have a good one. <laughs> right? Good deal. I almost brought a fishing rod. I'm only doing the 100-mile wilderness. Nice. I'm coming back though. I just even when you go further north, you wait till you see the fishing. Oh, yeah. Actually, rainbow trout lean yep. lean to the guy caught. Oh, a rainbow about that big. He had it for dinner right That's there. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I'm kicking myself for not bringing mine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I know. I, well, I got this collapsible one. But yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. And there's trout in every one of these lakes. Yeah, I'm sure. You don't think there's any landlocked salmon in here? That, I have no clue. I don't know. Are you from Maine? No, well, I'm from New England, but I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah. Not in the lakes, no. Yeah. Not, see, these are, these are uh, alpine lakes. They're not coming all the way up here. Oh, yeah, not, not like a salmon one, but there's like a really good landlocked salmon that it, you find all over Maine. Oh, It's got maybe. like, it tastes... Tastes really good, but it's like, yeah. Okay, I think they're still. Uh, when you went, when you went behind the island, it, does this lake continue way out? Yeah, it wraps around. Oh, over it there does. To okay. left. Oh, so it is pretty big then. Yeah. I thought so when I was up when I was up on Chebat or well, one of the mountains. I could look down and see it. Yeah. 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 No, it's a great, it's a great lake. Huh. I'm gonna have to look it up. I got my my fishing. Um, um, These four through hikers just showed up. It's like six o'clock, and I'm thinking, oh, I had the whole place to myself. So all these canoes are laying here. So one guy goes, I wonder if we can camp on the island. So they went out there and they found four beautiful sites with a with a fire ring and everything. So now they're all heading out to the island to uh, camp on the island. I said, you guys can make all the noise you want now. Where's the other one? Here's the other one. Safety meeting. So when they left, they go, I guess we don't have to hang our bear bag, do we? I said, no, I don't think there's any bear on that island. <laughs> could be some raccoons or something, or, or, or squirrels or chipmunks that could get their food, but I don't think there's any bear out there now. What a beautiful spot, I'll tell you. I just love it here. So now we're waiting. Uh, a couple of another guy, two other guys came in with them, older, from Maine. They live in Maine. And they said, make sure you come out here at dusk and first thing in the morning. He said, make sure you look at the shoreline because there will be moose here. So I am going to be on moose watch. Right in this area here and along the point. And then over there, there's some grass, a marshy area over there. So we are going to see if we can find a moose finally. I'm, I'm guessing right over here. This is where I'm guessing they're going to come. We shall see. Okay, later.